I've got a couple Rams and you know they're my favorite trucks but they also are plagued with some issues and as you guys are all aware I'm here to address the doomsday device and a lot of questions that were filled in on it. So the doomsday device is a is is just a really simple product that we came out with a couple years ago and you know it was really developed because of a particular transmission the 68 RFE but more so that the style of torque converter that's in the 68 RFE they're they're prone to slippage and you know with this recall the reason Chrysler came out with a safety recall is because these transmissions primarily the 68s were like spontaneously blowing fluid out of their dipstick right on the top of the turbo catching the trucks on fire and the trucks are literally on the side of the highway burning down they're just flambéed this is not a real new problem, at least not to us. I mean, we've been seeing this for years and years, and that's why I made this simple little device. So what Chrysler's idea of fixing this is, is supplying a little 15 inch dipstick that pops into the filler tube and then kind of like locks, kind of like a, kind of like a aftermarket um, wine cork type thing. And then they redirect on the top of the transmission, they put a short little tube on it and it's supposed to kind of redirect it, the fluid, so when it does expand, right? So I wanna talk about this a little bit. There's a couple concerns. One, when the transmission, now, now remember, this is not a fix. This is their, this is what, this, this is basically their, you know, let's get past go and, and, and make everybody happy. So when you roll in and they give you this little locking dipstick, stick it in there. It's literally a plug. The problem with the 68 when, or any of these transmissions, primarily 68, when, when it expands, when it overflows like this, what's causing it is it already has a weak torque converter. It has a single disc converter in there that is, that is basically having to do all this work. It is behind a Cummins that is making a boatload of torque. I mean, these things are making a ton of torque. I don't have to tell you that. You guys hook your trailers to them and you, and you haul your cattle, you haul your trailers, whatever it is. It's overpowering the converter, and when it overpowers the converter, it literally gets, you know, four, five, six hundred degrees. I mean, I'm talking like molten fluid. And when the fluid gets that hot, it's encapsulated inside the torque converter. And when, it, when the computer unlocks it for a moment, because it's, cause it's, multi, cause it's, cause it's a multi, um, it's an MCC clutch, which means it's supposed to be partially applying, right? So it goes from unlock to partial lock to full lock. It's in a full lock condition, it's overheating the fluid and then when they unlock it that fluid is pushed into the sump and it literally explodes like a volcano and it's like i mean it literally like is the tr like a sneeze when you're like when when you just you've got to get that you've got to get the pressure outside of your body the same type of thing happens in the 68 transmission and the fluid hits it and it boils and it spontaneously pushes out all the vents so i mean i i don't i can't tell you how much pressure in psi range is inside that transmission, but I can tell you it's enough that when it blows these sticks out, often the sticks are they don't they're not found when the vehicle is like burnt down. I mean they're gone. It pushes it completely out of the vehicle, and it blows fluid everywhere. So the, the fixing it, trying to hold the pressure in or hold the sneeze and whatever you want to call it, literally is not, in my opinion, is not a good fix. I mean if that thing's going to volcanoize and just expand the fluid like that and push everything out, you kind of need to let it do a little bit of expansion, but mitigate it so when that happens, you know, that fluid comes up and instead of holding it in, you know, with whatever pressure that is, that you just let it redirect, okay? So if you kind of think about this, this is the doomsday device. Your filler tube is here, the dipstick goes in here. I'll show you how that kind of works in just one second, okay? When that dipstick's in here and it's held, and I'm gonna simulate the transmission pressure blowing out right it just blows out the tube right so this tube is redirected to the ground so if when or if your transmission encounters this because it's a 68 and the tra and the torque converter slips so so badly when that happens that fluid is going to come up the dipstick and and relieve out the top of the vent it's going to blow out the bottom it's going to relieve the pressure and the and the condition is going to be gone it happens so quickly that and this is another con this is another thing a lot of a lot of you guys are asking like well put a put a gauge on it let's monitor the transmission fluid and see what's going on i'm telling you guys a lot of times you can't see it because you'll be driving the transmission sump is 160 degrees 180 degrees it's not hot but the torque converter because there's no fluid going through it it's churning that fluid a slow slip and it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter 
and then the TCM does what it's supposed to do when you tip into it, it unlocks the converter, that fluid blows into it and immediately it flashes all that fluid that's in the sump when it, when it hits the oxygen and it, and it plodes. It just like goes everywhere, it shoots out the dipstick. That's why these things just burn down with like no, no warning on the side of the road. So you can't, really, you can't really put a better cooler on it. You can't really you know, do a bypass on it. You can't monitor the transmission fluid. It's an inherent issue in the torque converter. So the only real fix is to put a multi-disc torque converter in it and do some pump mods, which we have all that. But I mean, I'm not saying you need to go to that extent. Just put some insurance on it. Put your doomsday device on it. Now, keep your dipstick when you run in for the to the dealership because you're going to want to do this recall. It's it's we highly recommend it. Do the recall. There's a lot of reasons to make sure that the dealer's happy. Your insurance is covered. Everything else. Keep your dipstick. Have them do their mod. Then when you're done, add the doomsday device. When this goes in, it clicks in. You can still check your fluid. Now, when you put that on, you see how that clips? I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's absolutely clipped. So, I mean, when that goes on there, it's, it like clips in. So this dipstick is never going anywhere, but it still has a place for that fluid to relieve when it pressurizes. And you get a little bit of a push out the bottom. If that happens, you're driving down the road, chances are you probably wouldn't even know anything that happens because the transmission doesn't necessarily overheat. You might find your transmission fluid's a little bit low. But the deal is you're gonna get to your destination. Your kids are gonna be safe. Your dog's gonna be safe. You're gonna be happy. You're gonna to get to your destination and literally for $130, that is good peace of mind. So, you know, pretty, pretty straightforward stuff, but a simple fix for, you know, a very expensive vehicle. So you guys um, have had some great questions. You know, we're just here to help. So if you guys wanna um, stay tuned to our, to our uh, YouTube channel, we'll continue the updates and um, we might be, able to be doing a little bit more testing here in the future. So stay with us.